It is officially spooky season, the one month out of the 12 months of the year that you should be cramming as many horror movies into your calendar as humanly possible. Do you know how I know it is the spooky season officially? Because I'm drinking coffee out of this here Halloween mug that comes out of the cabinet once a year for this month. And I am about to create my Halloween horror movie challenge list for 2024 it is October 2nd. And so normally, you know, people would probably do this ahead of time and pre-plan, but truth is there's no way I'm going to be able to do 31 days of Halloween horror challenge, which basically means you're watching like a horror movie every single night, but I, I just can't do it. Like I really can, like it's not possible for me to do it, but I like to make these lists. These ones specifically are like prompted lists, which means each day is going to have like a prompt, like day two today in a cornfield. So you pick a horror movie that has something to do with in a cornfield, and that would be the film that you would watch. I like to make these ones. This one specifically is from the No Film School podcast website, and it's technically from last year, but that doesn't matter. I've done one of these before where I did like the prompted thing, and I thought it was really cool because it makes you kind of think outside the box. And I personally like to create a list of films that I might be watching that I probably haven't seen before or that might, you know, pull from other aspects, not just all of my favorite horror films or Halloween films or random films. I like this idea of having something prompting you to pick a film and generally challenge myself to pick something maybe I haven't seen before. So I'm going to make my list right here, right now, and hopefully I'm, the screen recording works and you guys can see everything that I'm doing. I'll put the picture up so you can see some of the prompts and I'll go through them as I do them, of course, also. And then also put the link down in the description for this. And so I urge you to, if it sounds interesting at all to you, make your list. If you haven't made one already, use this one. If that sounds interesting to me, let me know down in the comments if you're going to do it and show me your list. I am going to make my list specifically on Letterboxd. That's what I did last time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the ranking system. But instead of ranking one, two, that is just for the days. So I'm going to go all the way to 31. I might put a backup movie in there. I don't know. I did that before. We'll see. But I also am going to make room for some theatrical films that are going to be coming out, like Terrifier 3. I'm going to go see October 8th. So I'm going to go see that in theater. So the 8th, instead of being meta horror, well, it kind of works, will actually end up being, dang, it sucks too, because meta horror would be a good, a good one. But it will be Terrifier 3, because that's what I'm saying. That I could always throw another movie in there. But like I said, the chances of me actually seeing them are very, very slim. But I, again, I like to have this list. And if it's like the 21st, I'm like, you know what? I want to sit down and watch a movie. It's October 21st. But I don't know what to watch. Boom, you've got this list. Do you have time? You look, what's what I put down for the 21st? That's what I'm going to watch. So let's get started with the first one, which is Trapped, which actually, funny enough, kind of works. October 1st, I watched The Watchers, the M. Night Shyamalan's daughter's film. I can't remember her name, but I watched that movie. And she's trapped in a forest. So actually, funny enough, that kind of works. Now, October 2nd, which is today, is in a cornfield. And I am going to put the film uh, Night. Oh, this is going to be a problem. I'm not going to remember the, t the films, but I think it's Dark Night of the Scarecrow. Yep, I am putting that as number two because it's been on my list to watch forever and I still have never seen it. So will I have time to watch it tonight? I honestly don't know, but I'm putting it as number two. Now, moving on to number three is Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, there are a lot of Jamie Lee Curtis films that I could choose from. Uh, I gravitate towards a, ho a Halloween film. Naturally, I probably would pick Halloween Kills because I had just started that the other night again and didn't finish it. And... I like Halloween Kills. It's a terrible movie, but I enjoy watching it. And um, that's a video for another time. But I think I'm going to try to challenge myself here, maybe, and pick Prom Night because I've never seen Prom Night. And so, you know what? I'm going to throw it on there, the original. I'm going to throw it on there, and we will just see if I actually can watch it or not. But like I said, I've never seen it. And it's a Jamie Lee, famous Jamie Lee Curtis film that I've never seen. So I'm going to throw it on there. And I urge you to be doing this along with me. If you aren't, let's do it together right now. Open up your Letterboxd app. 
Doodle along with me. And number four is set in space. Horror film set in space. Jason X. Huh. Hmm. Uh, let me think about it for a second here. Oh, I totally messed up already because I forgot October 3rd is going to be Salem's Lot. And I absolutely am going to watch that tomorrow. That I am actually very excited for. So I'm checking that out. So the third will not longer be prom night. It will be Salem's Lot. But if I have time to watch a second film, it'll be prom night. So I'm going to keep it there, even though I know I'm going to watch Salem's Lot. And then October 4th, if I'm not mistaken, which I might be, VHS Beyond comes out on Shutter, and I'm actually really excited to see that. So, fourth is going to be VHS Beyond, but with the prompt of In Space, I would have picked Event Horizon because I haven't seen it in a while. And so, I, there's lots of In Space horror films, but I'm going to go ahead and throw Event Horizon as number four, just because even though I'm probably going to watch VHS Beyond, and then also. October 4th, I believe Crazy House comes out, according to my list here, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, you know what? That one I'm really excited about also. So it's going to be either Crazy House or VHS Beyond. So I'm actually going to change. I changed my mind. I did. I'm sorry. I break my own rules, but kind of. But I'm going to put VHS Beyond as number four because I'm really excited about that. And then Crazy House will be a second film if I have time to watch it. Now let's go back over here and on the 5th, October 5th, the prompt is Schoolhouse Screams. If you go over to the website right away, you can like go over here and it says like a horror that unfolds within the walls of educational system and has like more detail about this if you want more guidance. But I'm just kind of going off of the basic prompt and Schoolhouse Screams. You know, I'm very tempted to put the faculty in there. Let's see, October 5th, what's going to be out, though? Uh, Hold Your Breath also is out on the 4th. So much stuff coming out. That's not going to be a Schoolhouse Screams, but I definitely am going to check out Hold Your Breath also. So October 4th, there's like three movies that I'm going to check out if I'm right about the dates. And I actually think Hold Your Breath might be up at the top, then VHS Beyond, then Crazy House, maybe. So the 5th might be one of those. But for the sake of this list, Schoolhouse Screams... Uh, what have I not seen? What have I not seen at Schoolhouse Screams? Prom Night. I mean, that kind of works. I already have it on there, but it could technically kind of work. Oh, according to my notes, Spin the Bottle, the horror film with Justin Long, also comes out on the 4th. I really want to see that one too. So much stuff coming out this month. It's crazy. Awesome for horror fans. But for the sake of time, I'm going to put for number five, the faculty for Schoolhouse Horror, just in case, based on the prompt in case, I guess a backup, just because if I, I'll probably end up watching one of the other ones. And that way also, it's a film I've seen, it's kind of like a backup, but I love the faculty, so I would definitely check that out again. Number six, October 6th, the prompt is J-Horror. Now here's an interesting one. I am tempted to put something I've never seen before, and there's quite a few. So let's see. What should I put? J horror. I've never seen the original. I've never seen Ringu. I've never seen the film that the Grudge is based off of. But okay, quick, just a quick bit of googling, and I'm gonna put Cure. Cure is gonna be my J horror pick because I have never seen it, and I, uh, yes, I believe it's that one. Um, and I'm just gonna put that for October sixth. Cure. I don't actually know how much horror that is, but I know it's like. I know that it's verges on horror, at least a little bit. And I know that it's supposedly inspiration for seven or wait, what year did seven come out or it's compared to seven or something like that. And so it's been on my list for a long time. So I'm gonna put that at number six and number seven, we got Rob Zombie. Now this is obviously very limited because it has to be a Rob Zombie film. So number seven and you know, again, stuff is coming out on the seventh. So many things coming out, but if I was your to pick a Rob Zombie film to put on this list. I'm sure lots of people probably pick House of a Thousand Corpses or something. I think I'm going to go with 31. This is not my favorite of his films. I don't even think it's that great of a film, but it is the one that I watch in October because it's one of his most Halloween films, in my opinion. Obviously, he did the Halloween remake and the sequel to it, and he does a lot of films that are based around Halloween, Lords of Salem also, but... 31 is the one I think of that I generally throw in October because it's 
not great, but it's kind of easily digestible. If that makes sense. I can throw it on. It's kind of Halloween related. It's all right. So moving on to the eighth, which is going to be meta horror, which I said I'm going to put Terrifier. I know I'm going to see Terrifier 3. So I am going to just put that in there because I know I'm going to see it. I probably don't have to. I work that day also. So I don't get home till really late when I work. So I'm probably not going to see a second movie. I'm just going to put Terrifier 3 there. Although Meta Horror is a great prompt. Uh, Creepy Doll is number nine. Oh, you know, Conjuring is the first one that I could think of. But let's try to stretch the imagination. Let's think of something else, something I have not seen bef before. Okay, there's a lot of movies I can pick with the prompt Creepy Doll. I'm going to be very unoriginal and very boring here. And I'm going to pick Goosebumps. The Goosebumps movie. Because, and I, I might even switch it for the second one. But the first one's a better film. The reason is because it's October and I like to revisit some of these Halloween October films. And I want to watch Goosebumps again. I've only seen it once and I did enjoy it for the most part. So I'm going to put that as the creepy doll one. And 10, City Slickers. Okay, I'm going to go over to the website for October 10th, City Slickers. And it says urban-based horror showcasing the darkness within the city limits. Skyscrapers might hide more than offices. Hmm. City Slickers. That is a very interesting one. Okay, I did a bit of Googling and quite a few things kind of came up because I cannot, I can't think of City. I just kept thinking of like, um, oh my gosh, what's that movie with the twin brothers? Where they made this TV show about it. Oh my God, what's that movie? The uh, movie with the twin brothers, the doctor and the, they're both the, what is that movie? Oh my gosh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I, I cannot think of the, of the name of that movie. I was thinking of that, but then I did some Googling and then Apartment 7A came up. And I was like, you know what? Rosemary's Baby, an apartment complex city, that works, right? And I've never seen Rosemary's Baby. I know. I know. It's just one of those classics I still have never seen. So I put that as October 10th and I plan on watching that one for sure. That's the one I'm going to try to make a priority to watch Rosemary's Baby. And I do want to watch Apartment 7A. So I have to watch Rosemary's Baby first. And so for October 10th, I put that. And then let's see, the 11th, we got Tony Todd. Wow, again, a lot of options here because he's in a lot of things. But my first thought actually is Final Destination, funny enough. And I've been in a Final Destination kick recently. So I think I might do a Final Destination movie. I also, isn't he in Tales of Halloween? He's in a lot, man. He does a lot of like cameos and stuff. I think I'm going to put a Final Destination movie, though. I just watched Final Destination 2 again recently. I was in the mood to watch the first one. I couldn't find it streaming anywhere. And I don't actually own the first movie. But I'm just I'm going to put the first one because I was in the mood to watch it. And hopefully I can find it. If not, I will replace it with a different one. And I'm pretty sure Tony Todd's in the first one. I'm almost positive he is, but I'm not 100% positive. But I'm pretty sure he is. So... For the 11th, October 11th. Okay. I got Final Destination number 12, movie in a movie. I mean, Scream? Like, come on. Can you not think of, I mean, like, what, what's that the first thing you think of off the top of your head? Scream, of course. So, a Scream film, but again, I like to challenge myself sometimes here. And so, I actually think I'm going to put a film called Midnight... What is it called? Okay, that was, of course, a very easy title, but sometimes you just can't think of when you're doing these things like this, but it's called, it's Midnight Movie. And I, the reason I'm going to put this one in there is because I really enjoyed this film when I saw it a long time ago, and I haven't seen it in a while, and I wanted to revisit it. It's definitely got flaws, but it's one of the few films that I really, really enjoy the concept of, like, similar to um, Demons, where they're, like, trapped in a movie theater, and there's like the movie playing and then something comes out of the movie and interacts in the real world. So movie within a movie, I think of Midnight Movie. Backup, of course, would be probably Scream, but I'm going to put that on there and see how it lives up to my memory of it. Okay, number 13 is Jason Voorhees. That does not leave much room for interpretation. Although, wait, hold on. I think I messed up already again. I did. Dang. Because... If I'm correct, Daddy's Head is going to be dropping on Shutter on the 11th. So that for sure 
is going to take priority over final destination. And then the 12th, I had something down for the 12th, but I can't remember what it was. So, okay, 12th will keep. Final Destination will probably be your place with Daddy's Head because I'm very excited about that one. I heard it's pretty creepy. But number 13, let's see, anything on the 13th? Oh, Cato Lake is coming out the 10th. There's just there's a lot of stuff. But, so 13, I'm going to Jason Voorhees. Let's see, which one should I pick? My favorite is probably the sixth one or the remake. Um, uh, let's see, should I challenge myself? You know what? I think I'm going to go with the fifth one or the fourth one, third one. Friday the 13th. Let's see which one comes up first. Honestly, final chapter. I haven't seen that one in a long time. I also haven't seen part three, the one directed by Steve Miner in a long time either. I'm going to go part three. Yeah, I just, I, uh, I feel like I need to give that one another chance. I might do part four just because I haven't seen it in so long, but I think I'm going to do part three for now. Okay, number 14 is found footage. So October 14th will be a found footage film, and that's easy. I know which one I'm going to do for that one, and it's going to be... I need to do a bit of Googling again there just because I could not remember the name of it, but I'm going to put the WNUF Halloween special there for found footage, which is October 14th, because I've never seen it. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's technically like found footage. I can't believe that came out in 2013. That's crazy. I need to watch that. Um, so that's definitely going to be going on the list because that is on my list already to, to try to check out this year. We are on to October 15th, almost halfway through the month of October. Let's see what we're going to watch. Rock and Roll. I mean, I immediately think of Trick or Treat instead of Trick or Treat, but Trick or Treat, the a movie with he plays the record backwards and um, that like rock and roll player comes back from the dead or whatever. I haven't seen that one in a long time either. I did actually enjoy that one, but let's see, October 15th. What does something come out on October 15th? I don't know. You know what? I am going to put trick or treat. I am because I haven't seen it in a long time and I did enjoy it actually. So I'm going to put trick or treat there. Uh, October 15th, trick or treat. Okay. Let's see, moving on. First time watch, the 16th. Well, there's so many that I could put there. I already put, picked up Day for Rosemary's Baby. Let's see, first time watch. What's been on my list for a long time? You know what I am going to put there? And this could also go for the found footage, but wait, the 16th, anything coming out? Before I say that, Smile 2 comes out 18th. I think I might be able to go see Smile 2 on the 17th, so I better remember that because I'll probably try to go to the premiere night, but I don't know. So... For now, though, uh, for the 16th, uh, first time watch, I'm going to put Ghost Watch because also another one I have not seen and it's been on my list for a long time, 1992 film, Ghost Watch. So there you go. 16th, first time watch, I'm putting that. 17th, In a Graveyard. I think of Return of the Living Dead. That's my first thought, but In a Graveyard. Let's see, the 17th, uh, I think I'm going to put, though, Smile 2 in the 17th, because I'm pretty sure that that's what I'm going to go see that day. Uh, pretty, well, let me just pick something, though. In a Graveyard, let me pick something. Let me think. You know what I think I'm going to put for In a Graveyard? I think I'm going to put Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, which has been on my list to watch for a long time, and... I believe I've tried to watch it a couple times and it just didn't quite hit for me. Uh, oh, I forgot the L. That's why it's not coming up. Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, 1972. Bob Clark. I forget that's a Bob Clark film. And I think I tried to watch it and I didn't really like it. It didn't look that good, but it's been on my list for, to watch for a long time, mostly because of the title and the fact that it's a Bob Clark film. So I'm going to put that on there. And technically, I believe the synopsis says they div dig up a body... In from a grave on an island. I don't know if it actually is in a graveyard or not, but I'm going to put it there anyway. Now, moving on to October 18th, and we got Tony Collette, which Sixth Sense, Hereditary. What else? I know there's a lot. Let me try to think of something that she's in that I have not seen. Tony Collette horror films let's see what have i not seen that she's been in so fright night oh god i love fright night i love the remake of fright night sorry i love it Krampus. i'm not gonna put that 
Um, Velvet Buzzsaw? I have not seen Velvet Buzzsaw. She's in that. You know what? I'm just I'm gonna put Fright Night. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Fright Night because I really, really enjoy the Fright Night remake. I enjoy it a lot. And it's I I like to watch it every October anyway, so I'm gonna fit it in there. It's Tony Collette. It fit, fits the uh, prompt, and I want to watch it anyway. So there we go. Moving on. We are going on to 19 Killer Machines. Killer Machines. Hmm. Chopping Mall. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm trying to think of one I haven't seen again. Let's see. Horror movies with Killer Machines. Let's see, The Terminator. That's not a hard movie. Man, I don't care. Uh, I guess hardware. I've never seen a hardware. I'm not actually even sure what that is. Hardware. I know I've know I've seen it before. Like I've you know seen the title. Is it any good? What are the what are the ratings? Hardware. 1990, huh? 5.9 out of 10. Hmm. I am going to give it a shot. It says cyberpunk, dark comedy, sci-fi thriller. Uh, you know, I don't know. But for the sake of time, I'm going to put hardware. I've never seen it. I think it counts. I'm going to put it. 1990 hardware as number 19. Wow, we're already on the 20th. Okay, 20, Freddy Krueger. Well, huh, I wonder what movie Freddy Krueger has been in. Let's see. I think I'm going to pick... Nightmare on Elm Street 4? I know 3 is a lot of people's favorite. 3 is Dream Warriors, right? Right? 3 is Dream Warriors? I believe so. I think I want to watch 4 again. So, uh, you know, I could pick the first one. I haven't seen the first one in a long time. But I think I'm going to pick 4. Yes, 3 is Dream Warriors. I was alright. Uh, but I'm going to pick Dream Master. Just because I feel like I want to watch that one again. So, number 20th. Is going to be Dream Master, although I'm sure something on streaming will be out at that point too. Okay, October 21st, Carved comes out. What is Carved? So the prompt for 21st is Guillermo del Toro. And this is a hot take here. I'm not a huge Guillermo del Toro fan. Um, he's just not really one of my favorite directors. And like maybe stuff he produced, but... I'm going to put Carved because it comes out on Hulu October 21st and it's some sort of group of survivors find themselves trapped in a historical reenactment village on Halloween. What? They must unite to battle a sentient vengeful pumpkin? Yep. 21st, I'm watching that. That's what I'm watching. It's Halloween related already and we're going to be streaming. I'm already sign me up for that and I'm not a huge Guru del Toro fan so I'm putting Carved as 21st Cheating a little bit there for sure. If I were to pick one, I'd probably pick one of his numerous films I haven't seen. Yes, I know I'm saying I'm not a huge fan and I haven't seen all of his films. I've seen a few of them, but I probably would pick that one that I have not seen, which I can't remember the name of. The One of the first ones he's very famous for. I, you know, part of my thing is I watched Devil's Backbone and this is just kind of like a chip on my shoulder, but that movie was so freaking hyped up for so long. I kept seeing... Devil's Backbone is being the scariest, one of the best horror films ever made, one of the most intense, like suspenseful, mind whatever, like so deep and complex and terrifying. And I watched Devil's Backbone and it I did was like, okay, it did nothing for me. It wasn't scary. And that was my introduction to Guillermo del Toro. And I just was like, ever since then, I'm like, all of his movies seem to be like hyped to the max and they almost always are kind of like, eh, for me. So... That's just me. I'm sorry. 22, Creepy Crawlies. Okay, Creepy Crawlies. That's a great prompt. Uh, I think of Arachnophobia, which is this film I love. But again, I want to try to watch something new. So let's see. Ooh, ooh, Phenomena. Phenomena. Phenomena, or as its other title is, uh, Creep Creepers. Creepy Crawlies, I've never seen Phenomena. And it's been on again on my list to watch for a long time, so I'm throwing that on there. I think that's a good, I think that's a good option there. Okay, 23, October 23rd from the 70s. Now, I just watched the uh Salem's Lot original one, 1979. 
Let's see, what other 70s horror films have I not seen? Okay, lots of options I could pick for 70s horror films. Let's Scare Jessica to Death is a one that's on top of my list that I might probably look. I'm tempted to put Phantasm just because I want to watch Phantasm, but I'm trying to pick something I've never seen. So Let's Scare Jessica to Death could work. There's lots of Argento I could pick. Uh, lots of Cronenberg I could pick, but I am going to go with The Amusement Park. Romero film, which I have never seen, and I really don't know anything about this movie except for that I know of its existence, and I've heard that it's pretty good, and I think it's actually on Shutter, which is great. This is the other problem with all of these. You make these lists, and then half the time you can't find the films, but I'm going to put this 23rd, The Amusement Park by George A. Romero, and I'm really hoping that uh, I can find it and check that one out finally. Okay, 24 is Yalo. <laughs> How funny. <clears throat> okay, so again, lots of Jalo films I could choose from. Lots that I still have not seen. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Fulci. I've never seen The Psychic. Uh, so I'm going to throw that on there. Now, again, I don't know. I can't speak to the contents of The Psychic and how much it leans Jalo. I just know it's a Jalo film and it's Fulci. So. That's all I really know about the movie. That's why I'm throwing it on there. I'm going to watch it. Check it out. Now, 25 is Vincent Price. Now, so many Vincent Price films also. And it's like, which do you count ones that he just does like introductions, voice stuff, or do we talk just acting? What's that? Okay. What's that one movie? Hold on. I think I know which one I want to watch. But okay. For the 25th, I am going Theater of Blood. Vincent Price film... And yes, that one has been on my list to watch for a long time also. So I'm definitely going to add that to the list. And 25th, if <clears throat> Azriel also, Azriel is supposed to drop on Shutter, I think, on the 25th, potentially from my list. And then um, Don't Move also, and something else, I think, too. So there's a few things that might be coming up that I might watch in that place of that. But if not, it's a price film. That's the one I'm going to pick. Okay, October 26th prompt is Haunted Hotel. Now, uh, my first thought is to put something I've seen here before, like Hell House LLC or um, Innkeepers, uh, 1408, uh, The Shining. But I think I'm going to do with Innkeepers uh, just because my wife has never seen that film and I've been trying to get her to watch it for so long and I've been kind of wanting to revisit it. So I'm going to put that October 26th, even though I know other things are probably coming out. I'm going to put Innkeepers, and hopefully I can revisit that, because I really like Innkeepers. Okay, 27 is Michael Myers. I'm going to go with the Halloween H2O. I watch it every year around Halloween time anyway, and if I don't watch it on Halloween, I'm going to watch it on the 27th. I love Halloween H2O. It's one of my favorites of the series. So I just I can watch it again and again. It was on TV at work the other day, and I was watching half of it. So 27th. Michael Myers, I'm going to watch that one. 28th classic, Monster. Whoa. Classic Monster, huh? Let's see. What's a classic monster, and what is the definition of that? Because, like, is it, it could be like a vampire film. That's a classic monster. Or does it have to be a classic film? Let's go to the prompt and just see what they say. The 28th classic monster, celebrate the original Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Mubby. Okay, yeah, you know what? I've seen the original Dracula. <clears throat> I've never seen most of the other originals. I don't know if I can sit through some of those, to be honest with you, around October. Like, I want to give them their due time, but in October specifically, I want to watch horror movies. I don't want to sit down and watch a classic black and white thing. There's lots of um, great elements to them. But let's see. Let's go with a classic, like, maybe like a classic Hammer. Okay, so Devil Rides Out came up as a very popular hammer pick i actually don't know what that movie even is really uh i wanted to pick brides of dracula but i think i'm gonna put curse of frankenstein so i'm counting these as classic which because they are classic as opposed to like the classic 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 but uh they're still obviously classic horror films i think i'm gonna go curse of frankenstein yep 28th, I'm going to go Classic Monster, Curse of Frankenstein. Never seen it? Let's check it out. Okay, October 29th is folk horror. Typically one of my least favorite genres. When done well, it can it can be really good. 
but there's just so so many it's kind of like a crutch sometimes in my opinion but i'm going to go with jug face because as far as i know it's full core and it's been on my list for so long so i'm gonna throw it on there i it's came out in 2013 it's been on my list basically since 2013 to watch so i'm gonna throw it on there i know there's probably a bunch of other ones i've never seen that i probably should see but i'm picking jug face for the 30th family friendly fright well the 30th family friendly fright what could you know what i i know exactly what i'm gonna pick mom's got a date with a vampire and i've got a date with an old family fun horror movie well what if you want to call it a horror movie? That's a stretch. But, you know, you can pick Hocus Pocus, Under Wraps, or classics I love. I generally speaking, most of the time, end up watching Hocus Pocus uh, on Halloween. Well, it depends because my wife doesn't really like it and it depends on what people want to watch. But we'll see. I don't know. And this year I've got my daughter, so I don't know if we're even going to be able to watch a bunch of movies on Halloween. We will have to see. But for the 30th, I'm definitely going to pick Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. Classic film. I love that movie. The kid in that movie is so cool. Well, he was when I was a kid anyway. 31st. Finally made it to Halloween night. What are you going to watch on Halloween night? I mean, I always generally watch some of the same films over and over again. And I generally pick quite a few films to watch on Halloween night. <clears throat> but the prompt is set on Halloween night. And I am probably going to pick a trick or treat just because I end up watching it usually every year. But if not, it's probably going to be a Halloween film or I don't know. I usually it's Hocus Pocus, Trick or Treat, and one of the many Halloween films. Typically the original or H2O, possibly 2018. Um, but I think I'm going to, I'm just going to put Trick or Treat there because I pretty much always end up watching Trick or Treat with my friend. That's what we always agree on. I know I'm not like stretching any, you know, breaking a new new ground there but the odds of us watching a new film on halloween are very unlikely usually that's reserved for your favorite halloween films so that's it that's my list and this is a very very long video but i wanted to build this list on the video and really just talk about all these films and pick some things and go through them and i hope that you did it along with me and i hope that you will share your letterbox app or excuse me your letterbox list or wherever you put your list Share it down below in the comments. I'm very curious to see your lists and if they have anything to do with the prompts and what direction you went when I went one way and you went the other way. That's my list. Again, it's there's no way I'm going to watch all of these. I just, I know that, but I like to have this list. And if it's that night and I'm like, hey, what should I watch? Boom, I've got the list. And there's some, a lot of, I, again, I always like to throw some new films on here. It challenges me to watch some new films as well as some things that I may not necessarily reach for. And then uh, in addition to that, like I said, it's just, it's like, Hey, there it is. You don't have to think about it. That's the movie I'm watching that night. So thank you so much for watching and let me know what your list is down below. Take care. I'm money scared. I'm a big bad wolf. I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, so everything bold. I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side. Hey, that's funny how they walking with each other.